Chris Cyborg versus Yana Kunitskaya with the featherweight title on the line. Listen, we've seen the odds, right? There are things to like about Kunitskaya in here if you want. She does have a history of featherweight, so she's going to be a, a sizable contender, not just a blown-up bantamweight. Uh, she comes from a camp in Jackson that has prepared for Cyborg before. She was getting ready for a fight. Even though this was put together on short notice, she was getting ready to fight on this card anyway. So there's things to like in Kunitskaya, but we're talking about Chris Cyborg here. I think Chris Cyborg is the pound-for-pound pound best female fighter on the planet, maybe ever, and uh, I think she's just going to be too much here in Kunitskaya in her USC debut. Yana Kunitskaya, who is a good bantamweight, but she's stepping up to featherweight, where Cyborg is at her biggest, strongest, most replenished, at her most powerful. And at her most powerful, there is no one in the world who can come close to her who isn't at least at her size. I think Holly Holm is probably the nearest. Amanda Nunes could probably give her a good run for her money. But besides that, we're really struggling. And fights like this as main events aren't really gonna do too much for the UFC featherweight division. The problem comes after this fight. What on earth happens with the UFC and Chris Cyborg? Because this is probably gonna be another one-sided caning. Chris Cyborg by stoppage in the first round. Well, in recent Chris Cyborg performances, we've seen a little bit more patient, a little bit more methodical attack. I think she goes back to the old school in this one. She did not have a full training camp for this fight, and I think she's not going to really want to pace herself like we've sort of seen. I think she goes in there, overwhelms Yana Kunitskaya in the first round for a TKO. Cyborg is too dominant, too strong, and just too vicious to be held back by a fighter who's only really won one of her last three fights. She can always pull off an upset. I'm sure she's got some good skills on the ground that she could catch Cyborg with, but I don't see this fight going past the second round, and I do see Cyborg remaining victorious in the UFC. 